Your deeds have been nothing short of legendary. With the plane meld at an end, Tamriel may yet endure. Now the time has come to confront Molog Bal. You must lead the five companions. Come here, Vestige. I'd like a word before we skip off merrily to our doom.
No matter how this ends, I'm proud of how far. This place is alive with pain and suffering. This must be where Molan Bar torments those who displease him. My torment! Or is your appearance here a part of it? I am neither alive nor dead. I am trapped in a couch of ash and bile and swirling vapors. My ears are filled with the screams of a thousand nails being drawn. And my end is plaything. And an abject lesson to others who would thwart him. My plan was flawless. My machinations were executed to perfection. I would have been a god if not for you. I, my only consolation is that you will know this pain soon enough. Arrogant, presumptuous, egotistical twaddle. A bit of costume jewelry is nothing compared to the Master's power. I expect I'll be seeing you soon. My only joy for the rest of eternity. After all that transpired, I killed you, you simpleton. I saw your life gutter and fade like a candle flame in a tempest. My undead servants drank your blood, and I reanimated your corpse. <laughs> the Lord told me with such hilarity. <laughs>
No matter how this ends, I'm proud. Merlog Val is here. I can feel his presence. Sense his fire. There. That place shall serve us well. Let us assemble and prepare the ritual. What do you suppose this place was? A temple of some kind. The Dark Anchors may have pulled it into Cold Harbor. Perhaps it was created by the Daedra to mock the Divines. What does it matter? We can't wait any longer. We must perform the ritual. Vestige, it is time for you to make your decision. Yes, this will be close enough, I think. Are you prepared? No one is more surprised than I. They are willing to sacrifice themselves to save the world. I've no idea. Speak to them. Let their own words convince you. We've already been at the Amulet of Kings. Remember Vestige. We fight for our people. We fight for Tamriel. Evil might be kept at bay for a time, but it can never be completely eradicated. What is important is that we... Very little. The scrolls can see many things, even possible futures, but they are not infallible, and they will not make this choice for you. You cannot cross the sea simply by standing and considering the water. There is no such thing as a safe choice. There are only other choices. Oblivion. <laughs> We've had some crazy adventures, haven't we? But adventures are what you call them when everybody comes back alive, so... Maybe they've come to an end. My father once told me that the most important thing anyone can know is what they would die for. I know that now. I feel like I've already lived a dozen lifetimes. I'm so tired. And I look forward to seeing my parents again in Sovngarde. I see that look in your eye, Vestige. I wonder, am I to be the one? I know that I would consider it a great honor. It would be a fine death when you live each day as if it were your last, as I have. Eventually, you will be right. I was born to die a hero's death. I've always known this, and I've always been prepared for it. I once swore to protect my Emperor, and failed. I cannot allow him to sacrifice his life in my place. Nor can I ask this of Lyris, my Snow Lily. She is more important to me than she will ever know. Please, give me this honor. Position yourself over there, Vestige. Brace yourself. Sorry. I'll never forget you. And we'll finish this, I swear. I'm honored to make this sacrifice. What do you think of me? I hope you remember me fondly and sing songs of this day while you toast to my memory. History may not remember your sacrifice, but those present here will never forget it. Divines of Tamriel, with this vessel of your power, the Amulet of Kings, I call upon your strength. Let this noble sacrifice be a testament to our desire to set things right and restore balance to the Mundus. Your champion stands ready. Accept this offering and imbue this vestige with your glory. Let the will of Molag Baal be denied. Vestige, now is the time. You must ascend the path and face the Daedric Prince. You must face the God of Schemes alone. I will get the others to safety. Go!
Come forward, Vestige. You are safe for now. Something precious to you has been riven from Stonefire's being. I have brought it here for you to reclaim. I congratulate you, little insect. Sting is formidable. You have blessed me and released a thousand times a thousand souls back into the mundus. The moment your world is spared, my grand scheme has only begun. Have a powerful ally. Did you know that she would bring you here? What future role has she to play in this grand cosmic farce, I wonder? The dark machinations of oblivion are far more complex than anything your mortal senses can comprehend. You've made a great and terrible end. Your world would have been better off if you played Melvin. See, had you bowed before me and accepted eternal servitude, I would have protected you. There are worse masters than I. Oh, yes. You are but a phantom here in my domain, Stonefire. The mortal prophecies of the scrolls have been fulfilled. Leave this place and return to your pit. Uh, your meddling has already cost me too much. Cursed creature of light and flame. This farce no longer amuses me. Your soul is restored. I can see its light within you. And you have saved your world from a great calamity. But know this, mortal. The forces of Oblivion are legion. And the God of Schemes is but a single player in a complex battle for supremacy. You have wounded him gravely. It will be some time before his power is restored. As your enemy fell, the one you call Abner Tharn took Chim El Adabal and fled. He returns to the land from whence he came. The place you call Cyrodiil. The amulet's power has been expended for a generation or more. The Imperial will not be able to use it, nor will he profit from it, though he will spend many frustrated years in the attempt. The tear in the veil between Oblivion and Nern has been repaired. Your world is safe for now. Gone forever. But their memory remains. I can see the light burning brightly behind your eyes. Your friend is a part of you now, just as the strength of the Divines burns like a flame within your renewed... Your story has only begun. Molag Bal still has plans for you. In many ways, these events played out to his advantage. And you have attracted the attention of the other Daedric Princes as well. The war between mortal kingdoms is still ravaging your world. But your true enemies are not mortal. If you are to be prepared for the coming conflicts, you must fully comprehend what is at stake. You must live among the... Indeed. When you return to Tamriel, go to the place you call the Harborage. My gift awaits you there. It will allow you to travel to other lands and hide your true nature from those who would see you as a foe. I have no more desire to keep you here than you had to remain in Cold Harbor. I shall return you to your little den in the wild. Your surviving companions await you there. Are you... The sense of the harbor is filled with air. What happened? How did we return? Lyris? Lyris? Are you there?
Not to worry, not to worry. Lyris is fit as a fiddle, and you all seem quite intact as well. I'm here, sire. But where's Tharn? He vanished. Ran off, I think. And he took the amulet you chaps found with him. That bastard. Sai died for that amulet. The amulet's powers expended for generations to come. It will be of no use to him now. Things feel different. Molog Bal's hold on my mind has been lifted. I am finally free of him. And so it ends. I pray that it has, at any rate. My part in this story has ended, but yours has only begun. The world has been made right for now. But it is still, I cannot say. But I do not think the scrolls have finished with me. Perhaps one day we shall meet again. If it is destined that we shall meet again, then destiny will find a way. For me, I think it's best that I should be forgotten by this world. Let me become a sad footnote in Tamriel's long history. His spirit has been dispersed into the Aetherius. He is not dead. Neither is he alive. His essence is outside the cycle of the Mundus. Tharn has undoubtedly begun the long journey back to Cyrodiil with his new prize. His deepest desire is to unite all the errant territories of the Empire under a single banner. Perhaps he will succeed, but it will be a long... I have no more prophecies to impart. No more strategies to suggest. No more riddles to ponder. I am just a man, a flawed man, and perhaps that is just as it should be. Farewell, best. We did it. Tamriel will go on. But what a terrible price we have. I'll bring the news of Sai's death to Kasura at the Abbey of Blades. Maybe I'll stay there for a while. Help rebuild. Grief doesn't change us. It reveals us. That's what my father always said. I'll mourn Sai in my own way. I loved him. I know that now. I've never been able to sit still long. Eventually the road will call. But where I'll wind up? <laughs> Who knows? Roads are for journeys, not destinations. Don't toddle off just yet. Might I have a word? Take it you ran into Lady Meridia. Lovely woman, charming. We get on famously. While you lot were having yourselves an epic row, I gave her a shout, asked if she'd be willing to help us out if things went badly. The trick of it was the timing. With every blow to that Daedric windbag, you freed hundreds of souls. She was able to catch yours before it wandered off. Jolly good trick, that. This is delightful. World saved, heroes gone their separate ways, and this knight has a new mistress to serve. Bravo. Could be happy. Special. Truly. I don't know that the world will ever see the like of Sai Sahan again. He was the embodiment of loyalty and discipline. Qualities that he tried to share, not by word, but by deed. You can make use of that. He's part of you now. No? Our noble Redguard friend may have shuffled off this mortal coil, but his spirit will live on through you. That's all well and done, then. There's just one bit of business left. I'm positively chuffed things have gone so well. To be completely...